How are you? Um, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. And I'm here for today's cricket chat. Um, and I hope that you can join me. Good morning to everyone. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I had my scans at the hospital that took up most of the day. Um, and I'm still waiting for results. So I, I will tell you today I'm kind of in a hard place. Um, I, I have to make some realizations about like, you know, keeping my house up and, um, I'm getting some help, but I need more and, um, it's, it's hard. I, and I'm also trying to figure out what to do about all these animals because I can't t keep track of them. So, um, take care of them the way that they deserve to be taken care of. So, um thanks gloria so um kind of i don't know barb i don't know um so i'm gonna i'm gonna um just do this because i can't be like worrying about everything all at once and so I think I want to do the thing that makes me the happiest, which is to meet with you and um, and have some fun making a card for um, for Christmas. And this is one of those ones you can make and tuck away for when December sneaks up at you. Um, and I know I wish you guys did, too. So this is the card that we're going to make today. It is a poinsettia or how you, whatever way you pronounce it, poinsettia, poinsettia. I used to always call it a poinsettia, but <laughs> that's just how we pronounced it. But I think it's pronounced poinsettia and it is an anagriffin card and it is free. Um, if you are a design space cricket access member, now remember there are two different things um, in design space. Design space is free. It's free to everyone. And there are free graphics that you can use. Um, if you don't want to sign up for the membership, you do not need to be a member to use design space. However, design space is, um, is a really fabulous place to find a lot of really wonderful images, fonts, um, completed projects. And also it gives you great discounts, including, um, members only mystery boxes like the one we had on Wednesday, um, which was the one with the brand new cutie color. Okay. Um, I think that the design space membership is great. Um, I actually pay yearly and I don't even think about it except when it comes up for renewal. I have the premier design space and I can actually show you how you can tell the difference. You can uh, go to your Cricut and actually can just type in Cricut on the website, Cricut Access subscription plan. It's, it's its own page. And you can see that there are, it says 200,000 images, 700 fonts, exclusive features, discounts, free shipping, and then 10% off. So here is the, um, the, the breakdown. So there's standard, there's free, which you get, you know, there's, there's uh, over a thousand images. There's 250, projects, 15 fonts. That's free. And then standard is uh, you can pay by the year for $95 or you can pay by the month and you get all of these things. The difference between standard and premium is that you get 20% off of all materials when you're buying at Cricut.com. And then also you get free shipping for orders over $50. So there are benefits to being an access member including use of all of those images and all of those fonts and like literally thousands of projects so um that's why i do these so that you can see um you can see the benefit of access so this card which is right here 
I have modified and I'm going to show you how to modify it because I found sort of a little bit of a glitch in these cards that I wanted to take care of. So I have already made this public and I will put it on the description of the completed video. Okay. But let's start from scratch because that's where I started from. Um, and so we're going to just start new. We have a new canvas and we're going to go to images and we're going to this first category, highlight category. It says image sets. See that? Just above it is free, popular, recently added, featured. We're going to image sets. Now, this the reason why I do this is that I I'm an old cricket person, so I used to do things with cartridges um, back in the day before they went all like technical <laughs> they had um cartridges which ran the machines and these cartridges had images on them and the images um could all be found on this one cartridge by theme and they've since changed that to being called an image set so some of the older cartridges all, i should say all of the older cartridges have been um have been updated so that they're included in the search not all of them are available through access however all of anna's are all of anna griffin's are so when you're in image set you can type in anna and you will see that there are 43 and they're and they're not like measly <laughs> so there's like 43 different um cartridges or image sets that it's available today we're going to go and go to this one here it's called anna's christmas cards and embellishments two there's two of them and so we're going to go here now these cards are lovely they're they're layered cards and just beautiful and then also you get a bunch of other stuff such as um, here's a sentiment that we're going to use. So let's grab that. But you'll notice that there are a number of these cards and they're layered and they're beautiful. And then they also have them in like a square version. So here's a square version. And then look, there's the card. And um, so, and then there's some silver bells and we're looking for the poinsettia one which is this one okay so it has it in a regular card size and then you'll also see some embellishments such as there's a poinsettia here um and the poinsettia over here which you may want to use for say if you do scrapbooking or something or if you wanted to make a square card um, and so I'm just going to grab those and you can see what they look like. So let's add them to the canvas. Okay. They're just taking a minute to add to canvas. While I am uh, waiting for that, I will remind you that our August giveaways are now available um, I have been straight out this week, but I will make sure to post uh, again about the August giveaways. I thought we would do another hat press and also um, a Cricut Bright Pad Go um, and then a bundle, I think a Cricut easy press mini bundle like we did before. So I think that would be fun. Now notice they come, they all come in here, but they are rather um, weirdly shaped. So we do need to reshape them. Okay. And here are two, um, here are two sentiments. Okay. So I'm going to take off the envelope, although I know you guys, you like to make envelopes. I generally will buy my envelopes, uh, cause I like to do my cards in a standard, um, size, which is five by seven folded. So here is the actual card. And you can see that it has all of these layers, okay? So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to group them all and align them to center so that I can resize them all so that they're exactly the same, okay? Um, thank you, Debbie. Oh, Southern California. Wow, you're up early, huh? Um, okay, and so to in order to do this, I'm going to, I group them together and I'm coming up here 
you see i'm going to unlock it and i'm going to make it 10 inches wide which i know it looks weird but then i'm going to do the height of seven okay now what that does when you do it as a group you can see that they all have changed size okay now there's a couple of things to note about these uh about these cards one is I, i've been making these cards for years this style card for years one of the things that i have a really hard time with is um right here at the fold so this is a score line right and then folding it here what it does is it creates a little bit of like a bump here because you have several layers okay so what i would suggest what i like to do now is i like to make the front be um be just like the middle pieces here you see i, I want to cut off the back here but i'm going to replace it so um, watch what i do i'm going to take this and i'm going to detach which is down here i'm going to detach and take out that score line we can save it for later okay now what i'm going to do is i am going over to shapes and i'm going to grab a square now I'm going to make this square five by seven because remember our folded card is five, whoops, our folded card is five by seven. And so we want this to be exactly right for us. So now I have this square in front of this double side, you know, like this double foot, like unfolded side. I'm going to grab them both and I'm going to do a line to the left. Okay, so now what I've got is a perfect square, and then I'm going to select these both, and, and then I'm going to do slice. Okay, so once I slice it, there goes this. Now, if this happens where you have these little pieces hanging on, you can get rid of them through contour. Um, and if it doesn't work, if I do it here, it's going to cause problems. So I can um, go back. Let's just go back and see that. I can then take my square if I want to and just lop that little line off like this, okay, by slicing it. So that's a way to get kind of a square that's going to work. And so what I've done is I replaced the front piece with just a plain piece. So now I can cut these all out like this and it will still make this beautiful card. However, I want to have um, the double thickness in the back like this. So what I did instead is I changed this, uh, this green piece well, actually, I'm going to keep the green piece exactly like that, and I'm going to duplicate it, okay? And then I'm going to just change it to white. All right. Now, what I'm going to have here is, um, and I don't need this anymore. So what I have here now is I have one, two, three, four of these layers that is going to comprise of the of the um of the front of the card then this one is going to go in the back i want it to go way in the back and um so basically i took the front fold and i moved it to the back okay and then i created this for the sentiment so here's a couple of sentiments i love this one let's go ahead and um, send this to the back and move this over and just resize this to what you want it to be. May the joys of the season bring you happiness. That's really love, lovely. There's also this one, wishing you an abundance of good cheer. Okay. And so all I need to do to attach that is to select it and then choose attach down here on the bottom right hand side. It's a paper clip. Okay. Now all this other stuff is good and it's, uh, it's awesome and you can play around with it. I'm not going to bother with it today 
simply because we're working on on this card okay so when you go to make this i always um do I always do two of everything. I always do that. And today I actually made four um, because I promised I promised two of them to to someone on Wednesday. Um, and I'm trying to remember who the names were on to receive this card. And then I realized, you know, I think I should make two more. And so Loretta would have some people to choose um, for the giveaway for today. So this is the card that we're going to um, use uh, as a giveaway today. Okay. I'm going to show you how it looks when you go to make it, but we're not going to cut it out because I will tell you these cards do take quite a while to cut out. And you want to be using the cardstock for intricate cut um, pressure setting. Okay. So I'm going to change my project copies to two and hit apply. And you'll see that it adds a few mats to my um, to my mat list. Now I have eight mats. Now the ones that are wide like this, these are um, okay to use like eight and a half by 11. You could fit that on eight and a half by 11. And then these ones you see, they're just the duplicates. So also eight and a half by 11. Or if you don't have eight and a half by 11, feel free to use the 12 by 12. So um, there are two different color greens, two different color reds. And plus I use a gold Old, and um and I used white so for the project like list of what you need you will need two shades of red which you can see here there's my um darker shade I, I've got three here so and then here's my lighter shade of red and then we're going to need this gold I had I had this and I had this they look it's different, but that's okay because they're going on different cards. And then here's my first color green. Again, here, I didn't have the same color, but that's okay. Okay. And then here's my base cards. Here you go. So this is the base card. And you're just going to fold it at the score line, just like that. In fact, I'll move these out of the way. We only have to do one to show you. Um, so we're going to fold it. This doesn't fold exactly right in the half, but that's okay. It's going to work for our for our purposes. And now here is the sort of over piece. So what we're going to do here is we're going to connect these two like this. Okay, so let's put that aside for now and let's just talk about the colors so when you're cutting this out it can get a little bit um gnarly <laughs> because if you're cutting out more than one just keeping them all separate so just keep your head about you and try not to turn them around when you take them off of the mat and before you start with the glue just sort of make sure you have everything facing the right way oftentimes i might accidentally turn it upside down and then when i see that it's not really working out then i go oh i have this wrong so that's that's how I kind of do it. I eyeball it. So the idea here is that you have the most cuts on the front and then it gets further, um, further down. Okay. So it goes from most to least. So this is going to be the top piece. That's the piece that we cut off that back side from. And then this is the next piece. So I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Uh, uh, so I did turn it around. Okay. So there you go. So they should match up and create like a little highlight. I had it this way and it didn't look right to me. You see that? So you have to kind of just go with what you, um, what you see. So there's that. And then we're going to take the green and I'm hoping this is the right way for the green. Mm, maybe. It's possible. Let's try it this way too, just in case. Nope, it's this way. All right. 
So now you see a little tiny bit of green peeking through. And then we have our gold. And again, this probably needs to be this way. Yes. And now you see a little bit of gold in that layer. And then this will go on once we glue it all. We will go, this will go on right there on top of the green layer. So we've basically taken this top layer and just put it down here. And that way we still get that double layer in the back that makes the card be okay. Because the card can be rather thick. So, um, so having a rather thick card is okay, except that the back needs to have enough support to hold it up, right? So that's what we're doing here. Now I'm gonna use some glue. Let's go ahead and um, use some glue. So the way that I generally do this, I start from the top and I kind of flip it like, I, like I'm opening a book. And then I'm going to sort of just dot the glue around here. Now, glue is um, learning to master your glue or your nozzle, I should say. You know, learning to master that is super important. You do not want to just like put glue everywhere. You can't uh, flood the back of the surface. And the reason why is that the glue will squirt out and ruin the front of the card. So try, even if you have to keep trying, just try to just do dots. Don't do a big long streak, you know, um, unless you, I mean, I'm doing a little streak here. Okay. And just dotting up this try to get it everywhere now there might be some things that you don't get glued down the first time and i'm going to show you how to kind of go and check that at the end okay all right and then I'm going to take the sand, I'm, I'm flipping it like a book, and I'm putting it on here. And the idea of this is that you're not going to be able to see the other color that you just did. Now, there is a little edge here, but that's okay. That's on purpose so that you don't have too thick of an edge if that bothers you, you can change the size of the middle piece. All right. Now, I might not have gotten all the glue there, but I am pressing down. If you have a brayer, you can use the brayer to press down here. Um, I just use my hand, and then I'll show you what I do if something isn't um, glued correctly. So here I go again with the second layer I'm going to be using my glue and you notice that it's a little easier because the um, the cut is less intricate and again remember when you're cutting these always always use that um, that cardstock for intricate cut it's in the cardstock um, so use that setting with your machine it really does help it does take a little bit longer to cut out because the machine slows down but the end result is just gorgeous so you won't have any like um lifting or cu bad cuts or things like that with that i i've never experienced it myself and if i ever did um, I would know it's time to change my blade. Speaking of blades, um, you, you, if you're cutting paper, you should know that paper is um, harder on the blades than vinyl. So if you're, if you're hopping over from vinyl and you're just learning, just now learning uh, paper crafting, then you, um, you need to know that paper is tougher on these blades than vinyl and you might have to replace your blade. I, I cut paper almost exclusively and I cut almost every single day. So for me, I, um, I change my blade once a month at the beginning of the month because 
I can be very forgetful and I don't want to run into a problem. I have some friends who, um, instead of changing the blade, she kept just turning up the pressure on, on it. And I was like, eventually you have to change the blade, you know, and, um, the blades can be rather expensive, but they do last quite a long time. And so it's worth it. It's also worth it to buy them when they are on sale. Like right now they are on sale. And plus if you're an access member, you can get, um, you can get your either 10 or 20% off. I'm not sure if it gives a 20% off. I don't think, yeah, no, I don't think it does. It gives you an additional 10% off plus the sale. And then you can use my new code, which is uh, Miss Rita, to give you an additional 10% off. So there's my last layer. I'm going to turn it over so I can make sure that I've got it all correct. Now, see here? that this is kind of lifted. And so um, what I want to do is just pop a little bit of glue right in there, just like that. And I'll check it for any other places. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I know there are a lot of people that would really love to get this card and it's great because it's not really denominational. Like, so you can send it to people with different faith backgrounds and everything. So once we're done that, we're going to glue the back of this and this one, you can put a little extra on cause it's going to hold this whole big square of four different, um, four different pieces of cardstock. And we're going to place it on the front of that card. All right, let's fold it. And let's press it down really well so that that glue will take, okay? Now, um, you can do this either way, but I like to use my double stick tape. So I am going to take my double stick tape and I'm going to put it I'm going to put it on the inside edge, the inside front, I should say, of the card. All right. I did have some happy mail that I got, but I was, um, I developed like a new pain in my side yesterday and I don't know if it's because I was walking around a lot with my cane or what but I kind of got distracted I did go down to um, downtown Peabody to see my friend Wendy she was working on this really huge and really like difficult project so I helped her out there for a few hours and she had to um, run it down to Newport, Rhode Island for a wedding that was happening today. So she was really stressed. So, but anyway, uh, halfway through, she said, Oh, you got some happy mail. <laughs> and I did get something from Babs, I know, and a few other people, but I didn't have time to like get them ready this morning. So um, I'll have to go over them on Monday and Monday's class. I know we usually do it on Friday, but I just didn't, wasn't prepared. So here we go. I've got this double stick tape. I've taken off all of the little backers and I'm, I'm putting the white card right in at the square there. I'm mean, sorry, not the, the score. And then I'm going so that they're lined up and then I'm just going to press down like this. Now, you could embellish the front of this if you wanted to. You could add a sentiment or, you know, like a, I don't know, a happy holidays or something like that. But I kind of like it the way that it is. So it's up to you. And see how it has this double edge here, which is very, uh, very nice. If you want to come back and have a look here, if it's sort of lifting there because we didn't put glue right there you can just put a little bit of glue there and just sort of hold it now you want to refrain from putting 
any kind of glue or tape on the back. And that's because it will cause problems with uh, folding. And we don't want that. That's what I did when I was a rookie, as I put the glue on both sides and it didn't work out too well. All right, and so that is our card. Wasn't it easy? I know we didn't cut it out, but I will say that it does take a while to cut these all out. You want to be patient with the process because it, um, it, I have this upside down. It, it really leads to a really professional result and even a card that you could probably sell somewhere. I know Wendy told me that she found some cards that I made for her last Halloween and she's selling it in her new retail space. And she's, when her daughter said, you know, what do you want to price them at? Cause her daughter's keeping the retail space. And, uh, Wendy said, I don't know, $5. And when Abby was like, no, more than that, these are great. So, um, Oh, okay, Mary Jane. Hi. So this is our card for today. I will make, um, I will make this available to you. I will put it in the description of this video as soon as I get off um, of the of the video. And also, do not forget to put your name in for our giveaway. All you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you are subs already subscribed, you can still enter. All you need to do is uh, to share. Um, or comment or all three, you know, share, comment, like the video or any of my 1000. I now have 1000 videos. Some of them are better than others. I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> but um, there you go. Now, since we have a little extra time, I'm hoping that too, Susan, I haven't heard anything yet from the doctor. And that's that's fine. So since we have a little bit extra time, we're going to do giveaway. We already, um, we already did, uh, two, we already picked two and then, oh, uh, thanks Don. Uh, I think it was Don T Don Tom Tompkins was one. I don't know who the other one was. Already promised to Dawn, yes, and Carrie Chakowski. So you two need to send me. Um, and then also Debbie Cox Chavez and Ada Yazzie. Debbie Cox Chavez and Ada Yazzie. That's uh, those are the other two. So Dawn, Carrie, Debbie, and Ada. Okay, all four of you have won this card. I will send it to you in a mailer so that you can use it if you want to send it out or use it for inspiration. That's up to you. Um, and I will mail it out to you, but I need to get your address. So you need to send me um, the address at my email. So my email is misreaded to the rescue at gmail.com. And um, that will be that will be that. Now, I want to show you a couple of things since we have a few extra minutes. Um, and I, you can see what I'm doing here. So let's say you design a card. Now, listen, I struggled with this myself. And so, you you know, let's say we did this card. We made some changes to the card. And therefore, there are people that might want to see it just like you know, just like they see other things in the community. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to name it, right? You're going to
Okay. Um, all right. No video, no sound. I'm not sure about the video. I, I think the video is back. Let's try the sound. <laughs> um, okay. So it is, it is my mind. Uh, my mom, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but yes, my mom, if you've been with me a while, you know that my mom who has dementia, um, often forgets that I'm doing the videos at nine o'clock. And so, um, so just, yeah, it was mom. She's heading over here today to help me and do different things. So, um, she probably just called to say she was heading over. She gets uh, a ride from their transportation service. She, she's not driving anymore. So anyway, um, so you want to save this project. So call it what you want. I usually am very specific because I have a lot of, um, projects. So I'll call it Anna Griffin point, Setia um, layered card. Okay. And then if you have collections, you can put them in to the collection. So I'll put this in my card collection and my Anna Griffin collection and also my Christmas collection. And then I save it. So once I've saved it, um, and I want to share it, what I'm going to do is come up here to where my new title is showing. I'm going to click on there, okay? And this will show, right now it's not showing you, but this will show you um, images, there it is. So here's the image of what it looks like on the canvas, and then it also shows you all the images I used, okay? And then what I can do is just use this toggle switch and make it public. I have to answer this question um, that is going to be visible on my profile. It might be featured by Cricut. Yay, hooray. And then I have to agree about terms of use in the privacy policy, okay? So um, then I hit okay, and then you'll notice that you get some confetti, <laughs> and now this image, this particular project is attached to my profile, which is Miss Frida to the rescue. So um, when you are looking at community, know that you can go up here to that triple dot. You can view your own profile right under your name or you can choose home. And once you choose home, you can uh, look and notice that there's an image, it says search images, projects, and profiles. So if I typed in Miss Rita to the rescue, it will show, oh, look at it, it shows 75 projects. Now, I, they're not all me. There's one here that's a Rita from Marsha Gates, but you will see me, here it is, my return address labels, um, some other things. And so click on, on one that you know is me like that. And you can, you can, um, follow, follow me from there. <laughs> it's having trouble, but that's how you do it. Or if you want, if you want to get into the community, go to view your profile here. And first of all, there's my, there's my profile, right? If you want to share your profile, you go to the triple dots and you just choose share. When you share that, you can just get a link or you can share it to Facebook or to Pinterest. Okay. I always choose copy link like this, and then I can go and open up my Facebook app or my Facebook. So I'll go over here and type in Facebook. And from here, I have two profiles. I have a Miss Rita uh, business page, and then I have my own. Um, but if I wanted to post it, I would just go here and I can just say, here's my, my Cricut community profile. Oops, spelled it wrong. Follow me and I will follow you back. Right? And then I'm just going to paste that and you'll see my face 
And I'm thinking I should change my picture, but it's it's probably the best picture of me. <laughs> and then I would hit post and it would appear on my profile. Um, and that's a little bit different, you know. Um, all right. So that's how you would do the, the profile. Now to get into the community, it's slightly different. Um, you would first, you can, what you can do is you can go, uh, to your canvas from your canvas and you can get here from, uh, from, from the iPad. I will show you how to do that, but let's just hit new and we'll go to projects. Once we go to projects up here, it says all categories. It's a drop down box and you see down like about five space, four spaces down, Cricut community. When you click that, it actually brings you to the community. Look at that, a gazebo. Somebody made it for stars. Oh, Lu Louise Beauregard did. Um, and there are just so many projects. There's my friend, Abby. Um, if you're not following Abby, make sure you follow her in, uh, in the community. This is a great way to share projects. So I'm gonna follow her. This is her um, thing. I don't know if you remember Abby, but she's a fellow product expert. So I'm just going to click on follow. And that way she knows um, that I'm following her and that I can see some of her projects. If I see something that I really like, uh, for instance, the shaker that shaped like an apple, I can click on this to save it. And then I could also heart it to let Abby know that I like it and maybe she'll see that and say, oh, I'm going to make more of those projects. Okay. So that's how you get into the community. So um, if you are a little nervous about the community, you're not really sure what is Ashish asking for. Um, so this is how you do it. And this weekend, when you have a minute, try doing this. Go to the Cricut community. You can click on any project you like that's been shared and you can find out um, who it is, like Beth Simon. And she's a graphic designer. So, oh, I'm going to follow her. So I'm going to follow her. And it'd be great if you could learn how to do that. I can come back and follow you. I have I think I have 700 now, which is pretty cool. Um, and let's see up here, just so you know what this is. So this bell, once I am, uh, once I have made my profile and I have, and I have posted projects, people can like the projects. And that's what this says. My friend, Linda G Giola, Gio, 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 Linda, I know I'm, I know I'm butchering your last name, but she's liked it. And so it's telling me, oh, she liked it. But then also look here, somebody that I follow, Christina Pike shared a new project. So I can click on that and have a look and see what the project is that she made. Isn't that cute? Drawn animal stickers. So she's going to send that to the make it forward project, which by the way, is still going on. So, um, oh, I love this. So I can just click on it and, and like it. And then I can also click on Lori's profile and follow her. Okay. So, um, all right, let's see. Um, yeah, there is some things with the eye. Oh, look at all of these. Lo Lori Hun is wow. Let's follow her guys. Look at all of these lovely sewing projects. Clearly she loves to sew. Look at the tooth fairy pillow. My goodness. And look at these chickens. I'm going to heart that and I'm going to heart the stuffed fox. And the tooth fairy pillow. I don't need that anymore, but it's a really cute. Look at this caterpillar. Oh my goodness. Love all this <gasps> luggage tags. So cool. A sun hat, a square box. This is fun, guys. This is kind of like what Facebook used to be about. It used to be a lot of fun where you could follow people and not have to listen about politics and stuff like that. Um, and yay. Thank you, Paralita. 
Um, so thank you everybody for coming today. Um, I'm sorry I'm a little confused today. It's just been a long week. Uh, I think I told you, but I'm not sure. We had another rat sighting in my house. This one is was alive and it was in my pantry. So we had to take a part. In addition to having to go for scans this week and everything, um, we had to take apart the whole pantry so that we can find the hole that they were coming in on. It, the pantry is in the back of the house. So they were coming in through like a whole from the back door like and it wasn't even a hole it wasn't like round it was like a little cutout that we could plug up so we're plugging that up and now i have to put all the food back and everything is um yeah it's more personal you're right mary jane so yeah Oh, you have raccoons? Oh my God, raccoons are insane. I mean, I love them. They're funny, but not if they decided to invade my house. I don't think with the raccoons would come. We used to have skunks here a while back. And my neighbor, two doors down, seemed to feed them and um, in his, in his uh, garage nice guy and uh but he fed the skunks so we had a lot of skunks in the backyard kind of heading there and i don't know to get food or a place to to stay and um and then he went and, and remodeled his garage maybe he cut out all the holes and then they um then they stopped coming by but i remember one time when i first moved in here this was way back at 1999 and i first moved in here and i had um my first corgi and i also had cats um no longer have those cats but um one of my cats was black like frankie it was a maine coon really fluffy with a fluffy tail and it was kind of dusk that time and so i I went outside to pick him up. It was a skunk. Oh my God. I'm so happy I didn't get sprayed, but I was like, seriously, the, the, the cat or the skunk looked like my cat and I almost got sprayed. <laughs> um, but yeah, we do have these critters. I don't mind the critters. Um, I don't mind the critters as long as they stay out of my house. And that's the thing. I mean, they can go in my detached garage and uh, and do whatever they want. I don't care. Um, but I just don't want to see them when I'm up, you know, in my pantry looking for a can of tomatoes. You know, that would just be just crazy. Um, and that, yeah, that's that's my that's my life. Um, yeah, we've had so, and we all. I also had a. Scud this is a funny story. Um, I had a skunk that was injured in my driveway and it was laying there in my driveway and I, I parked my car next. Well, like my car was parked in the driveway and I'm looking out the window and the skunk is not moving. So I'm like, is it dead? Is it not dead? So I was a new homeowner. I called the police. The police came and um and put a box over it right and I, he must have been a new guy and i'm like well now that there's a box over it what am i going to do with it and he said um do you want me to shoot it <laughs> i don't even know if he was kidding and i was like if you want to take it somewhere and shoot it fine but i just don't think i want you to shoot it in my driveway because what a mess right um so <laughs> So um, he did take it with him and I don't know what he did with it after that, but I was like, I was grateful that he took it, but I don't know if he was joking with me or not. I don't know. Maybe he was like looking for a reason to use his gun. I don't know, but it was really funny anyway. All right, everyone, I'll leave you with that silly, silly. I, I did also, I had baby birds that I was feeding and that didn't work out either. So I love, I love all my bird friends and all my critter friends. I just need them to stay out of my house. 
please. So <laughs> I love you too, Babs. Um, and I'm glad that I could laugh um, because it was, it was, it was a tough morning up until now. So I love you guys. I love the opportunity to spend time with you and um, I will see you again on Monday, starting on Monday. Definitely follow this woman, Lori Hoon, Hun, I guess. But um, when, when I see you on Monday, we are going to be doing a project that was requested by Penny Leo. Um, she has a friend who loves flamingos and um, is in hospice care. And so I thought flamingos, all right, let's create a card. And I used this, uh, this card, which reminded me of Florida and like rattan furniture and stuff. So, um, and I found a flamingo and we're going to be, excuse me, we're going to be doing this one on Monday. So if you want to get a, a head start, that is um, already in the community. Okay. So um, I did make a few changes to the card and I, I'm going to definitely do this one on Monday. And then going forward next week, we'll do even more cards that I've been playing around with. I've got a steampunk card that um, we're going to do my mermaid corrugated box with, with the craft um, craft board. And it's just so cute. I love this box. And um, I believe it's, yeah, it is in the, in the, um, here it is in the uh, community. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to do the steampunk. We're going to do that. I'll find some more. I'm going to do one Halloween and hopefully one Christmas, one more Christmas. All right, everyone. Of course they made changes. Of course. Right. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a lovely, yes, Babs. I was thinking of you when I, when I made that one and I'm going to show you a different technique with that. We're going to use something. If you got the um, mystery box, um, we got in the mystery box, this gorgeous gold, uh, gold vinyl. It's, it's like a shimmer. I don't want to call it glitter. It's shimmer. We're going to use this on that steampunk card. Okay. So, um, so that's all I have for you this week. Definitely remember to go in and put your name in every day, even on the weekends, you can put your name in and I will see you all really soon. Um, on the next cricket chat. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. All right. Bye. <laughs>